just going to talk to you for a few minutes this morning and um, just want to answer a question that I received and uh, hopefully uh, it will shed some light on some things and uh, why I am the way um, I am as far as being uh, a barber and um, an educator. Um, let me say first say that uh, I am um, a, a licensed barber, licensed instructor, master barber, licensed in three states. Um, I'm certified in the state of Maryland as a regular teacher. Um, I taught there for a year as a barber and uh, as a barber instructor. Um, 30 years in the business, over 30 years. And um, for the most part, uh, a lot of the things that I talk about, you know, I have firsthand knowledge about it. You know, I don't, it wasn't something that somebody told me, something that I saw on TV, it's something that I experienced. And so for the most part, whatever I share with you, whether it's uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, um, it's information and it's things that I've known firsthand. Um, and um, so I, I got quite a few followers and um, you know, my thing is, I'm not, let me cut this down, um, as an educator, I'm not really interested in um, followers per se, um, because it's, it's about having the white people, I mean, you can have a, a million followers, but if you can't get a million followers to give you one dollar, then, I mean, what's the, what's the point? And so I'm not interested in followers per se. I'm interested in people and barbers and stylists who really want to go to the next level, who really want to uh, avoid the problems and the pitfalls that uh, we all deal with every day. And so when I post and when I do things, um, I don't do it for, for form. I don't do it to, to be a, a, a hot shot or a big shot. I do it because I'm trying to help people trying to help barbers and stylists. Now, before I go any further, if that's not what you want as a barber or stylist, you don't want nobody to help you or you don't want to hear what I have to say, then it's just you know, a couple of clicks and you don't have to hear from me ever again, really. Uh, that's what it really comes down to because uh, you know I'm not asking you to give me money for it. Uh, what I give and share with you for the most part is uh, free. And so, uh, and that's how it's been for me for the most part of all my whole career online. I never really charged people you know, per se for information. I usually shared it with them because I wanted them to be better. And um, But over the past couple of days, I, I put out a couple of posts that made people have to uh, deal with themselves. And, and, and one thing, if you want to get on people's bad side, uh, is to tell them the truth. And, and, and and they, they asked me, young man asked me, why do you have, why do you come after your barbers? Why do you always have, you know, you always have something to say to barbers. You're always going after barbers. And I, I didn't understand what that meant, but I guess, what I guess what I think he was trying to say was why do I always seem to be, you know, instructing barbers on what not to do and what, you know. And really, um, it's, it's silly because I'm educated and that's what I do. And it's part of what I do. It's just not all cutting and lines and, and sharp, you know, blades and this and that. I mean, that's, that's only a part of what we do. The mindset is really the important thing. And that's the part that will make you successful. Okay, so I deal with a lot of that. I mean, you know, he, he also said, why don't you do more cutting, cutting videos? And I, and I mean, I... I did that for, for over 12 years. And there are enough cutting videos out there. If you don't know how to cut a fade by now, 
If you can't fade by now and you've been out there for five years, six years, then you need to give it up. I mean, how many more fading videos do you need? There, there are many guys out there that are reputable, that, that know what they're doing, that are putting out good uh, 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 information and putting out good products out there so that you can get what you need as far as fading and that kind of thing. So when I do, do a, when I, when I do put out a, a cutting video, the video is something that I haven't seen out there. Okay, so if, if, I, if I put a video out, I'm just not putting a, a video out just to put one out. I'm putting out something that not, that's not being addressed. The content that I put out is something that people are not addressing. And unfortunately, I'm not out here putting, cutting lines in, in the eyebrow and, 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 and causing people to go to the emergency room. I'm not doing that. But I am putting out information that will help you be a better barber. And so this, this individual wanted to know why I seem to be so hard on barbers because I put out a video yesterday or, or a post and a post yesterday dealing with 15 things uh, that that barbers do who are, who, who I consider hustlers. And, and the difference between a barber and a hustler is a, a barber is, uh, is licensed and cares about his customer, cares about the craft, cares about what he does, cares about... Uh, what she says and what she does as far as her clients are concerned, she gives out information that's that's pertinent. She helps her client. Uh, he he does the best he can as far as directing his client. If the client has a has a, a, a infection or something like that, so the the, the barber cares and it's, and it's business for him. The hustler, the barber hustler, is just there to make money. Don't care about the customer when he leaves. Don't care you know if the customer comes back or they are concerned about is the money here and now have no concern about you know the, the future of the shop don't care about his his co-workers don't care about anything but making that dollar and going home and that's and that's it and that and that's okay if that's what he wants to do so don't get mad if i address that i will address that because there are barber hustlers and we know we all know barber hustlers because we all have them in our shop, okay? And the reason why I can address that is because I was a barber hustler. For 20 years, in the barber shop, I was what you call a barber hustler. I didn't have, I wasn't organized, I was disorganized, never had the products I needed to have. I was making money, but I wasn't, I wasn't able to take money home and, and have a substantial life because my whole life was messed up because I was hustling. See, when you hustle, you don't think about nobody else but yourself. You don't think about your family. You don't think about nothing but getting that dollar. And so, for the most part, I was just irresponsible. So, when I talk about barber hustlers, I know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about something from, from somebody somebody told me, you know. And then I've, I've been cutting hair for 30 years, so I've seen them. So, when a, when a guy comes in to my shop, and I want to deal with that first, and it made me clear. When I put out a video, or I, if I say something from from uh, this platform, I'm not I'm not coming off on my barbers. I'm not whatever I got to say to my barbers, I say to them in face. I ain't got I ain't got to come off on nobody on Instagram or Facebook. So when I talk to you or educate people online, I'm not talking about my barbers. I'm not talking about nobody in particular. I don't use this platform to assassinate people, to try to come after people. This platform for me is for education. Unfortunately, education is two part. You gotta deal with the truth of what goes on. And sometimes that's not popular for people. People wanna be loved about to sleep. People wanna be, you know, made to feel good all the time and happy, happy, happy. Meanwhile, your pockets are empty, okay? I would be less than an educator, less than a man for me to walk around and see things go on and not address them. So when I see things going on and in the industry, you know, for the most part, when barbers are telling me that they can't make money and they can't find customers and they can't get to get into a good shop that's clean and and and, and one that where, where, where customers want to come back, then I need to address certain issues. Now if you don't want me to, to address those issues, then tune me out. You know, don't, don't, you know, don't follow me. But the same time that you're saying that you don't want to hear it, you won't unfollow. 
So you can't have it both ways, okay? But in the meantime, the people that want to go to the next level and make good money in this business, I'm gonna address the things that make them happy and make them successful. I'm gonna address the issues that cause them to go to the next level. So we all know barbers that come to work and never have their tools, never have next trips, always late, you know, and, and that's just that's just the, the edge of the beast. So when I address certain issues, I'm addressing them because it needs to be addressed. And in order for you as a barber or as a stylist to go to the next level, you can only cut by so well before you, you get to the place where what's going to separate you from the other barber? What separates you from the other stylist? And most times it's not skill set. Most times it's what you do, how you think. It's how you carry yourself. It's how you conduct yourself business-wise. The things that separated me from the next guy was not my skill set so much. It was my work ethic. It was how I came to work. It was what I did when I got to work. It was my mindset. That's what separated me, and that's what separated me from a lot of people. And that's why at age 50, that's when I got really, you know, got, got into the, the uh, social media. You know, at age 50, I was able to start, and then in 10 years, be able to write books, be able to travel, be able to do all kinds of things because the mindset, not because the skill set, it was the mindset. And so in order for a person to realize that, someone has to tell them. Now, I'm not saying that nobody else is telling them. I'm, I'm just saying this is what I do. I don't have anything else to do with another barber, what he does and does not do. But I will tell you that the, that the barbers that are telling and showing people what to do are really not on social media. Some of them are just guys that, that, are, that are old, older guys that are still working uh, in shops and don't even go online. That are really mentoring and instructing. And a mentor will never let a barber or anyone that's in any position never let that person be in a situation where they don't get told the truth. And I don't know where we come from where we're so sensitive that we can't allow, we can't take people telling us the truth. If you're a barber and you're unprofessional and you're doing stupid stuff and you know you're doing stupid stuff and somebody call you out on it, there's no getting there's no need getting mad about it. There's no need to understand, you know, saying, oh, you know, he's no, it's just you you get it right. Get it right or find something else to do. Because the most thing the most thing about this business is if you don't find something else to do, at some point you're not gonna be able to hang around. You're not gonna be able to pay your roof rent, you're not gonna be able to make make a living, and so you're gonna have to find some something else to do anyway. Okay, so the main thing that I want to convey today is this is not this is not a hit job. I'm not here hating on barbers, young barbers. I'm not here trying to destroy your life. I'm here to try to show you how to how to make it without going through the same things that we went through, without spending money that you didn't have to spend, without spending time that you didn't have to spend. The post that I made the day before yesterday are talking about being and doing. A lot of people are doing the things that barbers do. But they have aspirations of being shop owners. They have aspirations of being uh, uh, platform artists. But their mindset is not there. They're, they're still trying to find out how to get their blades, you know, sharp and how to cut and how. To, I mean, okay. I mean, at some point, you gotta start drinking milk and start eating the meat. At what point, after four or five years, do you move to the next level? At what point do you stop? You know, making the mistakes that a person that just started makes. Okay? So, those are the things that I'm talking about. I'm, I'm not talking about uh, trying to hurt people, trying to make barbers feel like they're not, you know, they're not, they're not professional. My job is to make sure that barbers reach their full potential. It's always been that. It's always been that you make and you reach your full potential. And yeah, yeah, Brian, yeah, the truth hurts. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. And that's and we all know that. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that we don't deal with the truth because it hurts. Will we ignore the truth because we don't want to hear it? Yeah, I mean, that was the main reason why 
I made so many mistakes because I didn't want to hear the truth. Okay, so let's get out of that. Let's you know, let's be men and women and get to the place where you know the growth is. It doesn't matter who who tells you if the truth is right. Then the truth is right. We we want to go to the next level. We want to pay our bills. We want to live right. We want to go to uh, you know far away you know islands and live on on the beach and this and that. But you can't get that if somebody's lying to you about what it is you need to do. And so when you follow me, understand that you're not going to get a whole bunch of fluff. I ain't gonna be doing pranks. I ain't gonna be, you know, you know, touching your lips. I ain't, I'm not gonna be doing none of that. I'm gonna be showing you how to make money in this business, okay? And that's what I do, okay? And so if we don't ever get to any other level, we need to get to the level where we can stand something. You know, we we, we got soft. I don't I don't know what happened to this country and to the people, but we've gotten soft. We can't we can't take nothing. We can't take no criticism. We can't take the truth. We don't we don't understand that in order to go to the next level. Someone must help you and show you and mentor you in the right direction. And just telling you the good things and telling you, hey, you all right, you're going to be okay, it, that don't help you. That don't help you. It didn't help me for 20 years. I walked around in circles. I didn't, I didn't have the money, didn't have, didn't have anything to, 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 to back up, nothing that I had did for the, for the past 20 years. So at, at that point, I realized that all this pat me on the back and tell me it's going to be all right didn't help me didn't help me and if you don't change the way you think about how you do business every day as far as your customer service as far as how you conduct yourself on the floor in the barbershop it's how you do business every day you, you're going to find yourself a journeyman or a journeywoman you're going to find yourself walking around cutting hair making the same money you made the year before there's no changes. You don't have any money in the bank. You don't have any credit going good for you. And you'll find yourself hurt after 10 years. And then, of course, you'll be burnt out. And then you got to find something else to do. Why go through that? Okay? It's, it's a place for everybody. There's a place for the, the guys that do pranks. It's a place for guys that do comedy. It's a place for guys that, that want to just cut and show you their cuts. Everybody has their own place. My place is to show you how to be successful, to go to the next level. My place is to be to be honest with you. It's to show you that this business can be the best business if you treat it right and you're honest about what it is you need to do. But if you don't, I'm going to tell you, barbering is the, one of the hardest things in the world, it, you know, to 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 make happen if you don't have your customers and you don't have your business together. You will find yourself sitting in the shop every day watching TV and watching other barbers cut if you don't learn the true essence of what this is. This is about, this is really about um, um, working hard, being consistent, and everything is about relationships. If you don't have a relationship with the people that you cut and the people that come to the door, and the people that you work with, you're really going to lose a lot. You're going to waste a lot of time. And you're going to find yourself after four or five years spinning your wheels. Okay? You should be able to make no less than three, four, five hundred dollars a day. No less. If a barber is cutting ten haircuts a day, five in the morning, five in the afternoon, you should have three, four hundred dollars a day. Now, why is that not happening? Because barbers don't come to work every day. Barbers come to work. Most barbers that, I, that I'm, 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 I'm finding out about are part time. They about twenty hours a week. That we give more, we give more time to a bar, to our boss when we work on a job. We give him forty, but the barbers nowadays are giving twenty hours, and they and they want full time money. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And I don't care what you do. I don't care. I don't care how good you cut. You can be the best barber in the United States. If you cut part-time, you're going to get part-time money. I don't care. That's just how it go. Okay? So I don't know who's telling us, you know, yeah, you can charge $100 a cut. Whatever. You still got to be here to cut it. You still got to be in the barbershop to cut it. Everybody else, a doctor makes his money in the doctor's office. The lawyer makes his money in the courtroom and in the lawyer's office. Everybody makes their money where they work. The barber is the only one who wants to make money in McDonald's. 
down the street, around the corner, in the bed. It don't work that way. And so, yeah, this is the part that makes Roberts mad because I'm telling him the truth. Well, look, get mad, get glad, you know, but this is where I'm at. Okay, and I'm not going to tell you a lie. Now, I have Bobbles come to me and say, man, if I had listened to you five years ago, if I had listened to you 10 years ago, I would have been further along. They come to me all the time and tell me the same thing because that's what it is. If somebody had told me 20 years ago what I needed to know, I would have been further along. But thank God social media came and I was able to, to almost erase those years that I wasted and, and, and catch up. But if you continue to ignore the truth, you won't find the success that you're, look, that you're looking for. Look, people, take care of yourself. Don't be so sensitive, okay? This is about going to the next level. And it hurts. It's going to be some hurts. When you get hurt, you put take out a Band-Aid, put the Band-Aid on your face, and come on. That's what we do. Take care. Love you.